guys, what's going on? DSG back at it with yet another delicious DSG TV. Uh, so, you know, the feedback when I was doing the five minute case study of Mediapreneurs, so, you know, people that are doing really cool stuff, uh, you know, you guys really liked that. The response to the five minute case study was huge, 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 huge. So I've got another one today. I'm going to hop behind the computer here. I've got something very interesting. It's a guy that's absolutely crushing it, and he's doing some things that I really, really like, and he's doing some things that I think could he could change or alter a little bit that will really improve his business as well. So it's going to be a little bit of uh, going through some great things and then a little bit of advice as well. And, and kind of, you know, you guys know the jazz here. Uh, the idea behind these videos is really to give you some inspiration, some ideas, all that kind of delicious stuff. So let's go do it. Let's hammer it out right now. All right, so here I am on the uh, YouTube page of Michael Corey. So it's Michael Corey. I'll link up his page below. First of all, let me just preface this. I have no idea who Michael Corey is. I've never met Michael Corey, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a second how I found it. It actually is part of the things that he's doing really, really well. So first and foremost, I want you to notice a few things. Yeah, he's got a ton of views here on this page, and he actually had another channel as well uh, that has a ton of views. And the first thing that I really like about this, and I think that Michael's doing very well, uh, is the branding is great. With the, with the MKF, the Michael Corey Fitness, it looks good. Um, obviously, he hired a designer to do so. I think he even has a link to his designer there. But again, this is something that's very, very simple, but you'd be surprised how many people miss out on this opportunity to, for some branding here. So it, it's a, a very, very simple thing that he does extremely well. Now, let's get to a second thing that Michael does very well. I'm just going to click on this video here. This is uh, called Easy Bodybuilding Oven Fried Chicken. That sounds good, doesn't it? Okay. What's going on? Let me pause for a second here. Um, now, a couple things that Michael does very, very well on YouTube. The first thing is that his titles are great. Easy Bodybuilding Oven Fried Chicken. Um, and what's great about this is this is how I found Michael, and this is a great lesson of being searchable. So what I did was I didn't know who Michael Corey was from Adam, right? And I went into YouTube because I was looking for a healthy recipe for uh, doing sweet potato fries. So I typed in like healthy sweet potato fries or healthy, uh, you know, f so healthy fitness fries, something like that. And immediately he was one of the top results on YouTube. And that has to do with him, you know, hustling and building a brand and creating great content, of course, and, you know, having these great titles and having it set up properly as well. So I want to give him props. That's the second thing besides the branding. There's, you know, the great searchability and titles uh, that make a lot of sense for his videos. Now, I want to do get to the next part here. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit in this video because I want you to notice a couple things in this video, and this kind of goes into the next things that he's doing very, very well. Michael is not what I would call a quote-unquote natural on camera, okay? He's not like one of those people that like you're like, oh my God, this guy was born to be in front of the camera, but that doesn't mean that he can't have a successful web show because he's good. He, he loves it. You could tell he's passionate about it, and that's really all you need. And second of all, I want you to notice that in the video, the highlight is the content. There's no weird cutting and special effects and a bunch of complicated things. The highlight is content. And so a lesson here is not to get hung up on the technology and making the video perfect and editing. It really, at the end of the day, comes down to are you creating interesting, educational, you know, entertaining content for people that they can really, really use. So let me... Uh, play a little bit of this video. I'm just going to kind of skip ahead to more of the uh, cooking part and show you exactly what he does. Um, and then uh, I, I got some more stuff as well. So I just to watch fold over the aluminum foil because it keeps everything juicy on the inside. So as you guys can see here, I have two bowls. One is going to be our dipping bowl and the other is going to be our coating bowl. So right here I have one cup of this cornflakes crumbs. This is the packaging. You guys can get it at Walmart next to the panko or panko breadcrumbs, however you want to say it. This is just really easy and it's going to make a great crust for our oven and coat the other side. To enjoy it. Okay, and by the way, at the end here, he's got this little chicken montage, if you will, but you gotta realize that most of his videos have very little editing in them as well. I mean, if you break it down, what is it? It's just a guy cooking on camera. Um, and what's great about this is, is people find this on YouTube and people come in here. Then, of course, they become more curious about what Michael Corey has to offer, what he's all about. So, what's you know, if you, could, if you could see here, there's a lot of different links that he has. Now, 
my first suggestion here to Michael is that I don't think I would put all these links right here on the right side of YouTube because you're cluttering what you really want people to do. Um, I, you know, if it was me, I'd want to send them to my website and, and that was about it. I want to send them to the website and then I want to capture their email, have them a subscriber, etc., on my website. So I think this is a little too cluttered here. But let's go to his website for a second. I'm going to open that up. Um, and a couple of things that I would suggest here um, – to Michael. Now, first of all, um, it's michaelcoreyfitness.blogspot.com. Uh, obviously, a really quick fix here is just to have michaelcoreyfitness.com or MKF, you know, or something like that. Um, some other website, you don't want to have it .blogspot.com just because, you know, that kind of takes away from the branding and, you know, it just uh, adds some complication to people, people uh, finding a site. The second thing is you can tell here, uh, and this is the big tip that I would give Michael here. He's got a huge audience. I mean, he's got over 60,000 or close to 60,000 subscribers, millions of views on YouTube. And yet the only thing that he appears to be selling here on his site is he's got some recommended products, affiliates right here on the right side. And he's got some recommended products up here, which is fine. And then he just has like some t-shirts and stuff to sell, right? If you go here, it's just like some clothing and, you know, uh, some random stuff like that, right? Now, uh, that's all cool to have swag like that, but if I was Michael Corey, let me go back to his website here, there's a huge opportunity here in a few different ways, but the first one, bar none, is to do some kind of cookbook based on his products that he puts on YouTube. No brainer. The Michael, you know, whatever it is, Michael Corey Fitness Cookbook or, you know, something really cool because people have already gotten to know, like, and trust him from his content. It, it really is a no brainer to put together a cookbook that you could then sell to people as well. They're going to love you for it. And another thing that he might have is an upsell from the cookbook or another product, if he doesn't want to do a cookbook, is like kind of an advanced cooking course for people that are into fitness that don't really love cooking. So maybe he's got an advanced course to teach you how to make, you know, 20 meals in 20 days. I don't know what it is, but bottom line is I think there's a huge opportunity for him to help more people and make a lot more money than just having like random ads and things like this on the site. So those are my thoughts on Michael Corey Fitness. I want to hear your thoughts. What are your thoughts on him? Did you did you learn something from this? I hope you're enjoying these kind of, uh, I call them five minute case studies, but I don't know if actually any of them have been five minutes. So uh, something like that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Always love to hear your thoughts, and I will see you on therisetop.com. And if you haven't already joined the Rise VIP email list, please, please, please make sure to do that. There's so much more cool stuff coming out. I've got more case studies. I've got more tips to help you build your online empire and your mediapreneur business. So that's it. I will see you next time, my friends, and uh, I'm going to go cook some uh, sweet potatoes right now. So see ya.